what's up? So today is another, we're gonna do workout of the week. Um, and for this one, I'm gonna take a little bit of a different approach. And I wanna do an exercise that's more based off muscle hypertrophy. People say that word in so many different ways. Say it one way or the other. It's like tomato, tomato, however you wanna say it. But muscle hypertrophy is basically building size. And I like to work in a rep range of about eight to 10 reps for gaining size. If you start to tip down under eight reps, you're gonna look at strength. Above 10, you're gonna start looking more at endurance. So eight to 10 is a prime range of reps that you wanna do when we're looking at increasing our muscle size. So along with that, so this is our goal, we're gonna do about eight to 10 reps, three to four sets. If you wanna do five sets, by all means. That's gonna be the goal today. And for muscle groups, we're gonna kinda of group this. Um, instead of doing a total body, I thought we'd focus on chest and triceps. Often those two muscle groups are paired because one is more of a push, the other is more of a pull, or it's front to back. It's working primary and secondary, or muscles that aren't necessarily related, so you can work them and burn them out. Okay, so let's go ahead, let's get this started. Okay, so the first exercise we're gonna do, we're gonna aim for the chest. And we're gonna do chest flies with our cables. So if you've done chest flies with the cables before, general technique, I'm gonna change it though, but general technique is open up the chest and bring those cables together. Open up, bring them together. When I work with my clients, I'll kinda use this term because visually they understand it. Open up the arms, close them like you're giving a big giant round hug, okay? So in this case though, I'd like to change it up and show you a variety or a variation of this exercise. I'm gonna use a stability ball today, and I'm gonna show you how to do an incline chest fly using the stability ball. This is awesome. And it's interesting because whatever weight you're used to with doing a fly, you've got to reduce it for this exercise because it's a lot heavier going into incline and using gravity working against you as well. So keep that in mind. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna set up a ball close to the, the cables. I like using the smaller cable machine for this because I don't get overly stretched that way. So you're gonna go ahead and set the cables towards the bottom or at the very bottom, anyway. Then you're gonna walk yourself forward until you're kind of on that incline. So here I am on that incline. What's interesting about this position is my core is somewhat activated, my glutes, everything, I'm trying to stabilize myself. From here, what you're gonna do is you're gonna open up your arms into that fly position, and then you're gonna fly those arms. Then you're gonna open it up, and you're gonna fly those arms. If you want to get a little bit more of a pull through, you can come forward a little bit more, walk yourself forward. Either way, go into that wide fly and pull. Fly and pull, just like that. So again, you could change it up by going a little bit further up or going a little deeper if you want to. That's perfectly okay too. However you want to maintain this, but you want to make sure that you're at least on an incline and you've got that wide stance for a start. So this one is awesome. So we're working our chest muscles, but we're, we're going to get a high activation of the front deltoid and the upper chest muscle for that one. Okay, let's go on to the next exercise. Okay, second exercise, we're gonna flip over and we're, we're gonna work on the triceps. And in general, when you're doing a lot of these supersetting body parts, just focus on just two of them, you do wanna kind of flip between them. It's a good idea to give one body part a rest while you work the other. So remember your rep range though, we're going eight to 10 max on these. Okay, so this one is gonna be a tricep overhead extension. Great with ropes to utilize, in fact, that's my favorite way. But with COVID restrictions, the ropes are out of place, so we're gonna use one of our longer sort of cable pulleys. So we're gonna use, you're gonna switch this up. I'm gonna actually stay at this universal cable where I was just here. And we're gonna detach, I need to attach a bunch of both of those, but we're gonna detach this. We're gonna hook our bigger, Pulley on. So this is a little bit of a setup. Watch your shoulders and be careful and do a little test of the weight before you just throw it over your head. This is your best setup. I'm gonna grip the pulley like this. If you have very large hands, it could be more interesting for sure. So I'm gonna grab my pulley. I'm gonna rotate, bring it over my head, pull into position. From here, you wanna go into a nice lunge position. It will help to stabilize your core and to help get that exercise and keep you from falling through on or falling over. Next, keep your arms close to your ears. If anything, visualize that you're plugging your ears with your arms or more or less. From there, you're gonna extend. Bring it back down and extend. Now remember, your goal is to get as 
straight elbow as possible, and then release. Now, if you're doing this and you find your cable's coming up and hitting you in the head, it means that you're rotating through. You have to keep your arms up and your elbows pointing to the ceiling. Now, naturally, because of your joints, when you come up, you will extend out a little bit and you're gonna drop down. You will see your elbows point out. This is naturally how our elbows joint goes. So, try that one out. That's an awesome burn because what you're gonna have is you're gonna have a full extension of the tricep and then full contraction. Triceps really, really love that. And because your tricep muscle is nice and long under the arm, you're gonna get better formation as well. Okay, let's move on to the next exercise. Okay, third exercise down. We're gonna do the decline chest press using our isolateral hammer strength equipment. Again, what I've mentioned in the last video, I love this equipment because you can work them both at the same time or focus on one arm at a time and work on things like imbalances. So with this one, again, I'll just do a quick demo of basically how this works. I've got a couple of weights on there just for demo purposes. So you can do this just as is. Set your seat according to your height. You're gonna come in here, go back, and up we go. And a good height idea is these hand grips should line up with your chest. It's a good idea to note that. So when you're going to press, sit back, engage the core, and press. Just like that. Release and press. This is awesome because then we're going to get a little bit more of the medium aspect of your chest tissue to lower. Okay. But I want to quickly show you, I want to quickly show you an alternative to this. So this is using one arm at a time. And I mentioned a previous chest workout video about how crossing the arms are really good for tightening up that chest muscle and working your deltoid. So I'm going to show you how to do that on this piece of equipment. So what you're going to do is you're going to come here and you're going to slide to the side. All right, there we are. So get yourself braced up. So I've kind of got my hip on the side, holding on here. And then when I'm ready and I've got that weight, I'm going to press. Okay, I'm going to press. So what I'm trying to do on this press is I'm trying to engage the upper part of my chest, get that cross, and the front part of my deltoid press. So by doing one at a time, you're gonna get a much better defined chest muscle cutting down to the mid part of your chest. So awesome, that's what we wanna do. Love this one. Okay, let's move on to another tricep exercise. Okay, fourth exercise. We're gonna do a tricep push down using the straight bar. So usually with this one, I'd like to utilize, again, ropes, and there's variations of bars. You've got the T-bar, things like that. Straight bar, I love for this, and I'm gonna show you why. So here's the thing, I'm gonna use the back supported, so I'm doing one that's external facing. You could easily do one internal facing, but we're gonna go like this, okay? So I'm gonna prop up against here, get myself supported. I'm gonna grab this bar, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with, first off, always work on core. So right now my core is initiated. I've got a slight bend in my knees. I tell my clients, bend the knees slightly. Never stand with your exercise like that. Bend those knees, get the core engaged. I'm gonna lock my arms, my upper arms to my side, and then from here, I'm gonna press down, and then I'm gonna come up. And so you can see, when I press down, you can see that tricep muscle activate. And then rest. That's working really, really good. So what I love about this one is the entire time my core is tight to keep me upright and against this pad, my triceps are activating and I'm pushing down. And again, you don't actually need a lot of weight to feel this one, especially with this end piece of equipment. When you're doing that press down, when you work with the triceps, especially pressing, focus on isolation of the tricep. It is one of those muscles that forms better and burns better when you actually think tricep contraction. So if I'm pushing even a lighter weight, just by holding it for a second and thinking tricep contraction, you can get that burn. So it's an awesome way to work the tricep. Okay, let's move on. Two more exercises to go. Okay, so here we go with our chest exercise. Second last exercise we've got, we're gonna do chest flies utilizing the cable, but we're gonna do it from a low to high position. Okay, and the great benefit of this is you're gonna get a really nice cut. You're gonna get a nice lift. It's awesome for posture and chest lift. Okay, so let me show you this one. So I'm using, again, these kind of dual cable. You're gonna walk away from the cable a little bit. And to start out, like I tell people, watch your knees. Straight knees look terrible. Bend them, support them, core engage. Roll back your shoulders. Proper posture before you start everything. 
And when you're ready to go, you're gonna take these weights and you're gonna scoop them up and bring them up. And if you notice, I'm kind of making a V formation and then I'm swinging back and loosening them right back up. Bring it up and release. Bring it up and release. This is a good bicep one too, because your biceps are a huge help. In front of the deltoid, this is awesome. Yo. Now I often like to go into this just straight up standing position. If you like, you could go into a lunge and utilize the legs while you're at it. Same idea. Do a few with that leg and then switch. But that's an option too. Either way, just keep your form. Make sure when you come up that you cross up and you get that nice cut. And a little bit further if you want. When you come up, you're welcome to cross them as well. It takes a little bit more coordination to cross them, but that's a good option too. All right, one more to go. Okay, final exercise here. Tricep external rotation extension. It's kind of a whole thing. You're like, what? Let me show you what that means, okay? So what we're gonna do is, I'm using the cables again. If you notice, it's quite a theme for this exercise. I love working with cables because they have unlimited potential for position as well as targeting certain muscles. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I've got my cable lined up, I've got my weight, I've got the cable pretty much kind of my slightly high, higher than my head. Just make sure that in, if you look at the physics of this, this, this is my start position. I've got a nice pulley action to press this out. So this is what we're gonna do. I am standing parallel to my pulley. If you look right there. And from here, my goal is to press down and press out. I'm activating that right there. I'm gonna scoop back up. I'm gonna press down and out. Scoop back up, press down and out. Again, there's that tricep activation. But I'm getting more of an external rotation, rotation with this. And so you're gonna be able to activate slightly the long head of your tricep muscle a little bit better. This is a good one, I'm actually kind of burning. I already, <laughs> I already did a workout, my arms are dying. So again, if I wanted to switch sides, go ahead, turn over, reset pin, and there I go. I'm just pressing through like that. That's your motion. Just make sure that you are standing parallel. You're pulling up that pin. I always say lock the elbow close to your hip and you're gonna press through. This is not a swinging exercise. You wanna keep this, whenever you're working with triceps, specifically ones that you're pressing down, you wanna always envision Velcro in that arm to your side. You wanna keep all the movement in the elbow joint. You don't wanna be swinging that arm. Get control because you'll get better isolation of the tricep. Okay, so there's your workout. We've got those six exercises put together. And when you are super setting within those muscle groups, three chest and three tricep exercises, be aware that they are going to burn out. But if you're a go-getter, go ahead and add an extra round if you'd like. If you wanna do an extra set, like I'd mentioned, three to four is usually pretty good for burnout, but if you wanna add a fifth set, by all means. And make sure, one last thing, if you're doing eight reps, eight to 10, it should be difficult. Your first set, get to eight to 10 and be like, that's decent, that's tough. And by the second, third and fourth and so on, you should almost not be able to complete the final eight. That means you've chosen the right way. If you complete three to four sets and there's the burns there, but you're not quite fatigued, that, needs, that tells you you need to go heavier. Keep that in mind, especially if you want that muscle growth. You've got to fatigue those muscles. Okay, I guess that's all for us today. I will see you next time when I do another workout of the week. Bye.